Ever feel like your hair just isn't enough? Maybe it's not the right color, length, or was singed off fighting the forces of evil. Well, you're in luck. Today, Tiffany discusses all you need to know about cosplay wigs. Week by week, you guys have been seeing me in a lot of different wigs, and I figured today we are going to dedicate the show to your character's quaff. That means hair, in case nobody out there knows that. One of the easiest ways to save yourself money when you cosplay is to pick a character that has your same hairdo. I'm a really bad example of that though, because I think it was my first cosplay ever that I did that, and that's it. I own like 30 wigs. <laughs> However, if you do need some extra color to your hair and you have the funds, then getting a wig is right for you. Plus, it instantly makes you feel better, cooler, like a character, not like yourself. It's kind of fun. 10 to 15 years ago, when cosplay really started, you had to go to wig shops to get wigs, but now there are whole companies dedicated to cosplay wigs. Just cosplay wigs. It's kind of amazing and weird. When looking for a wig, the first thing is to decide when you need it by. A lot of retailers are based out of Asia, and so you may be waiting up to a month to get a wig. If you're new to cosplay and you have the extra time, I definitely say check out Amazon and eBay first. Keep in mind that you may want to style the wig, so make sure you get heat resistant, canaclon, or te teclaclon, I can't ever pronounce it. You make sure that you have these kinds of fibers instead of plastic. If you try to go cheap and get a party store wig, most of it's gonna be plastic and it's gonna melt the moment you get it near any hot tool. If you're shopping through eBay or Amazon, I recommend getting a wig that is at least $20. If you do that, then the wig quality is generally going to be better and be heat resistant. Now, if you're a more advanced cosplayer or you have a little bit of extra money or you need the wig faster, then definitely check out a US-based store. The most well-known US-based companies are gonna be Epic Cosplay, Arda Wigs, and then Cosplay.com's wig company, Cosworks. Their websites are incredibly easy to understand. They usually have tutorials, wig demos, customer pictures, you name it, all the colors of the rainbow, you've got it. Maybe something happened to your wig just before the convention. If that happens and you are at a medium or pretty large convention, chances are you're going to have Arda Wigs or Epic Cosplay there as a vendor and you can buy your wigs directly from them. So how much do you spend on a wig? When buying wigs and tied on a budget, make sure you get a wig that you can use for multiple characters. You know, utility is everything. My rule is generally $20 for a short wig, $30 for a medium length wig, and 40 or more for a long wig. If you get something that's a ponytail or styled, you're gonna be spending a lot more. Find the tutorials, do it yourself. This doesn't include the sales prices, and I always buy on sales, but it's the average price bracket that you can find for most US companies. And finally, for today, a wig demo. I'm gonna show Mike how to put on a wig. <laughs> Mike's shorter than me, so he's uncomfortable and crouching. I actually have a boyish wig, so I'm not putting him in a long pink wig today. You're saying you don't like my hair? I'm saying it could be pink. <laughs> Basic anatomy of a wig is if you flip it inside out, you're going to see all these pretty little things. These are called wefts. The more wefts you have, the thicker the wig. The thicker the wig, the better you're not gonna see your hair up underneath. So if you have brown hair and you're putting on a blonde wig, we're not gonna tell. Or in this case, we'll actually be able to tell you have silver hair. So if you're new to wigs, have a friend do this for you. Someone who actually knows how to do wigs first, um, because otherwise you're just gonna mess it up. Girls, or if you have long hair, wear a wig cap. So what you're going to do, Mike, is you are going to aim your forehead right there for this spot right there. Okay? That's not my other forehead. There you go. Put it, pull it on tight. Okay. Now, the sides of your... See. Oh, I know you can't. You're not supposed to see. That's my drill. <laughs> With your wig, you're going to find two little spots on either side that are meant to go right where your ears are, like they're your side bones. I feel like one of those cows with bangs that can't see. You know what I'm talking about? Cows with bangs that yeah. can't see? When do cows have bangs? You've never seen cows with bangs? I don't think I have. That's interesting. And there's Mike. Now he's got silver hair. Yeah. Surprise. You're welcome, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> Till next week, guys, check out all the little links below. Leave me questions, comments down there. I'll see you next time. I won't do this to Mike again. Why not? <laughs> Maybe he'll have pigtails next time. I don't know. Bye. Bye.
Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.